Alright, so we've all been there. You get a new iPhone and one of the first things you need to do is make sure all your data is safely backed up. Whether it's precious photos, important content, or your app data, the last thing you want to do is lose any of it. That's where iCloud comes in. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to back up your iPhone to iCloud. This guide will walk you through everything you need to know, whether you're new to iPhones or just need a refresher on how to keep your data safe. And don't worry, this process is super easy once you know what to do. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips and guides. Now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have enough iCloud storage available for your backup. Apple gives everyone five gigabytes of free iCloud storage, but if you have a lot of data on your iPhone, that might not be enough. To check your iCloud storage, start by opening the settings app on your iPhone. Next, tap your name at the top of the screen to access your Apple ID settings. From there, tap on iCloud at the top of the iCloud screen. You'll see a bar that shows you how much storage you've used and how much is still available. This gives you a clear overview of your current iCloud storage situation, so you can decide if you need to manage your storage or consider upgrading your plan. If you're running low on space, you might want to consider upgrading your iCloud storage plan. Apple offers several options like 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, and two terabyte plans. Depending on how much storage you need, you can upgrade your plan by tapping manage storage and then change storage plan. Next, make sure your iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi network. iCloud backups require Wi-Fi because they use a lot of data and you don't want to use up your mobile data plan. To check your Wi-Fi connection, open the settings app and tap on Wi-Fi. Ensure that you're connected to a reliable Wi-Fi network. And if you're not, select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password if needed. A strong and stable Wi-Fi connection is crucial because the backup process can take some time, especially if you have a lot of data. Backing up your iPhone to iCloud can use a lot of battery power, so it's a good idea to plug in your iPhone into a power source while you back it up. This way, you don't have to worry about your battery running out in the middle of the backup. Just plug in your iPhone into a charger and make sure it stays connected throughout the process. Process. This also ensures that the backup will continue smoothly without any interruptions, enabling iCloud backup. Now that everything is set up, it's time to enable iCloud backup. This will allow your iPhone to automatically backup to iCloud whenever it's connected to Wi-Fi, plugged in, and locked, which usually happens overnight. To enable iCloud backup, open the settings app on your iPhone and tap your name at the top and go to your Apple ID settings. Next, tap on iCloud, then scroll down and tap on iCloud backup. Here, you'll want to toggle the switch to turn on iCloud backup. When it's enabled, the switch will turn green. Once you've turned on iCloud backup, your iPhone will automatically backup to iCloud whenever it's connected to Wi-Fi and plugged in. You can also manually backup your iPhone at any time by tapping backup. Now, this gives you peace of mind knowing that your data is always safe and up to date. Starting a manual backup. Even though iCloud will automatically backup your iPhone, it is a good idea to start a manual backup, especially if you're setting this up for the first time or just want to make sure everything is backed up right now. To start a manual backup, stay on the iCloud backup screen in your settings and tap backup now. Your iPhone will begin backing up to iCloud. Depending on how much data you have, this could take a few minutes or longer. You'll see a progress bar that shows you how much of the backup is complete so you'll know when it's done. After the backup is complete, it's important to verify that everything was backed up properly. This will give you peace of mind that your data is safe. To verify your backup, up. Go back to the iCloud settings on your iPhone and tap on Manage Storage. Then tap on Backups. You should see your iPhone listed here, along with the data and time of the last backup. If everything looks good, your backup was successful, and you can rest easy knowing your data is secure. Now that your backup is complete, you might be wondering, what exactly is included in your iCloud backup? Here is a quick rundown. Your photos and videos are included if you don't use iCloud Photos. If you do use iCloud Photos, they're already stored in iCloud and aren't included in the backup. Most of your app data, including game saves, app settings, and data from apps like WhatsApp is backed up. Your messages, both iMessages and SMS are also backed up, so you won't lose any important conversations. Additionally, your device settings, including Wi-Fi passwords and home screen layouts are backed up. If you use your health app, your health data is backed up as well. Even your custom ringtones are included in the backup. 
Now, what's not included in your iCloud backup? While iCloud backups are pretty comprehensive, there are a few things that aren't included. Purchase content like apps, music, movies, and TV shows isn't included in the backup. However, you can re-download them for free from the App Store or iTunes Store. Apple Pay information, including your cards and settings, isn't backed up, so you'll need to set them up again. If you restore your iPhone from a backup, also Touch ID or Face ID settings aren't backed up, so you'll need to set these up again as well. Restoring your iPhone from an iCloud backup. So what happens if you need to restore your iPhone from an iCloud backup? Whether you're setting up a new iPhone or restoring your current one, it's a straightforward process. To restore from an iCloud backup, start by turning on your iPhone and following the setup prompts until you reach the app and data screen. Here, tap restore from iCloud backup, sign in to iCloud with your Apple ID. Then choose the backup you want to restore from the list available backups. The restore process will begin and your iPhone will restart when it's complete. After the restore is done, your iPhone will be just like it was when you last backed it up, complete with all your apps, settings, and data. And that's it. Backing up your iPhone to iCloud is a simple but essential step in keeping your data safe. Whether you're upgrading to a new device or just want to make sure you don't lose anything important, iCloud has you covered. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more easy to follow tech guides. And as always, if you have any questions or run into any issues, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.